These questions are all about the straight line graph. So let's start with question A. Write down the coordinates of A. This should be easy. So that is 5 and 6. Next is find the equation of line in the form y equals to mx plus c. So c is your y-intercept. And as you can see, your y-intercepts at 3. So your c is 3 and your m is your gradient. To calculate your gradient, you would do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now pick two points. I pick negative 5 and 7 and 0 and 3. So I'm going to put that into the formula. And my gradient is negative 4 over 5. So the equation of the line is negative 4 over 5x plus 3. Now write down the equation that is parallel to line A and passes through the point B. So again, our gradient is negative 4 over 5 because the lines are parallel. The y-intercept is B, which is negative 2. So the equation of our line is y equals to negative 4 over 5x minus 2. So the next question is asking about the perpendicular line. So we know that the gradient is negative 4 over 5 and using this formula we could calculate the gradient of the perpendicular line. So the gradient of the perpendicular line is negative 1 multiplied with 5 over negative 4 which is 5 over 4. Now that we found the gradient, we're still missing something, which is our y-intercept. So I'm going to use the equation y equals to mx plus c by substituting the point 8 and 14 into the equation to find c. So your c is 14 minus 10, which is 4. So our equation of the perpendicular line is y equals to 5 over 4 x plus 4. So the formula for calculating the length of a line is a square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. So our a coordinates are... Hold on, let me check. Okay, so they are 5 and 6. And our C coordinates are 8 and 14. So now we'll just substitute this into the formula to find the length of AC. If you notice, the formula for calculating the length of a line is exactly the same as the Pythagoras theorem. So the length of AC is 8.5. So our answer is 8.54. So our B coordinate is 0 and negative 2. So the formula for finding the midpoint of a line is x2 plus x1 over 2 and y2 plus y1 over 2. So now I'll just substitute my coordinates in. So that's 0 plus 8 over 2 and negative 2 plus 14 over 2 and that would give me 4 and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So the midpoint of the line B to C is 4 and 6.